we got an awesome new update that just hit the game. This one introduces PvP to the live servers. The only downside about this is it's only for Guardians. I have been looking forward to this for a while. This is going to be really awesome. Now before I get into that, let me just check my treasure chests. Day 24. Whoa, holy moly. I'll take it. Thank you. Ooh, deep lean fin. I rarely use those. And Iron Judgment. Not super impressive, but the good thing about those, I can shard it. So, that's not always a bad thing. Now, like I said, the PvP is for Guardians only. So, if you're not a Guardian, you don't have access to the pvp just yet pvp will be for everybody but this is early testing you can get to the guardian tower by just running in through here or you can type in join guardian tower once you are in the guardian tower you are going to want to cut to the left and right beside wayne you are going to find a doorway you're going to want to enter this doorway now you're taken inside of this little area here. This is a little combat area here. And you might remember this from the quests if you had done the quests, which I'm sure you would have had to have done the quest if you had gotten through here. So what you're going to want to do is run straight through here and up into the bright light. I just have to point out, somebody had mentioned I was being kind of rude by not responding. It's not because I'm not responding. I'm not trying to be rude. I do try to respond every time I see people talking to me. But when I'm filming, I try not to distract myself. So I try not to look at the chat box so I can just focus on getting the video done. So apologies to anybody who thinks that I'm avoiding you or being impolite. It's not my intention. I'm just trying to do the video and I don't want to have to edit more than I already need to. But anyways, let's get into the battle. So here we are in PvP. Now if you saw my last PvP video, you would have seen the different styles or combats or different things that you can do in it, which is a lot of fun, trying out the different combos and stuff. I'm not going to be doing that in this video, as this video was more or less to show you where the PvP was and what you can do in it. Now this is a 3v3 and it is a lot of fun definitely worth checking out if you're a guardian now like i said it is guardian only you can only play this if you're guardian if you're not a guardian you're just gonna have to wait until this comes to the non-guardian if you did not see my last video which was all about the pvp then i will put a link to that in the top right corner and in the description below you can go check that out that shows all the details that you need to know about the early testing of pvp what am i doing i'm not changing my things i was meaning to change my class i'm gonna run pirate oh i can't do it because i'm in combat seriously you didn't even let me change uh fine and i'll freeze you in place there's there's four people in here it's a 3v4 right now how'd that happen no wonder we're getting pummeled now how do you leave pvp that's what i would like to know Leaving PvP might be a bit tricky. Is it over here? Aha. Yep, not going to get me, sucker. Return to training ground. Okay, that's how to do it. So there you go. You return to the training ground. You can just leave out of there. Or, of course, you can just jump out using the fast travel. But that is where you go. You just go up there into the PvP. And I'm just going to pop into the Guardian Tower to tell the people there in case there's people running around. Because I, I had no idea where i was going for the pvp so okay this guy knows where to go yes he's looking out the door so he knows not everybody did because i didn't when i first got here i was running around i finally had to go and ask on ae federation because i hadn't read the design notes and speaking of which there has been some updates more than pvp let's take a look at some of these so with the pvp testing came some special things along with it. In the PvP area, the players move slower while moving backwards or sideways. 
The cooldown for the potions has been increased to 45 seconds. Ranged abilities have had their ranges reduced slightly and the melee attack range has been increased. Player equipment does not matter in PvP. This is all everybody is the same level with the same stats. That way nobody has an advantage over someone else. Evasion is set to zero, but if you use abilities like the smoke screen, that will boost your evasion or your dodge abilities. The PvP testing map will automatically close after 15 minutes. The time between mage auto attacks has been increased, but this has also increased the damage to compensate. Guardian Strike now gains 4 marks up from 3. Dragon's Breath cast time has been reduced to 0.25 seconds. The Dragon's Breath area of effect has been increased from 2 yards to 3 yards. And along with this came a new area loot button. This button allows you to open any loot that's around you. Now if you're on the PC, you just have to hit the F button. And for those of you wanting more bank space, you can now get 20 more bank vaults that are now available for purchase. And all the bank vaults have had their size increased by 10 slots. So that means you can have even more stuff in each vault. So there we go. That is it for this video. I hope it was informative and I hope you guys enjoyed if you are a Guardian, be sure to check out the PvP and let them know what you think of it. I'm still crossing my fingers, hoping for a Battle Royale version. That would be awesome. And later this week, we have Deja's collection coming along with another section of the Underworld. There is some really awesome stuff coming with the collection. You guys are not going to want to miss it, including another travel form that's going to be for guardians only yet another reason to upgrade if you haven't yet thanks for watching if you want to check out my twitter or the ae federation you can check the links in the description below and if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe we'll see you in the next one bye bye